welcome to our channel. Watch this video. All right, we're continuing our series of the food shortage. And we're gonna walk into one of these stores again. This is a totally different one. Uh, one that we haven't reviewed before. So I'll see you on the inside. Oops. Thank you. And I really like coming in these stores first thing in the morning. Um, I used to take me a bathroom break and just uh, lick at stuff. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> All right, so the little fruit section has a little few empty spaces. Grapes, few in the vegetable section. You know, a few empty spaces. Pop up. All right, this is just a total empty space little light right here on the bread <laughs> uh, they haven't cooked any chicken apparently and put it out good morning how are you I'm good, how are you? great thank you all right got plenty of cakes <laughs> oh goodness my weakness German chocolate love German chocolate cake all right empty spaces in the fish department and the meat department uh, Okay, this guy's pulling stuff off the shelf. You pulling old stuff? No. I don't know if we're reducing everything. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that stuff is going on sale. Thanks, sir. Pork department looking kind of shallow. <laughs> All right. Yep. And every time I come in one of these stores, the frozen chicken is like getting bad. <laughs> All right. Here's the frozen seafood. Empty spaces. All right. Let's check out the canned foods. These are all soups. Okay. Alrighty, there you go with your oodles and noodles for those that like that type of stuff. We don't eat it. Okay, and then we're going to spin the camera around here. Here's your raviolis. Alright. Alright, they got a sale on that, so of course that's going to be looking kind of the way it's looking. Alright, diced tomatoes, pasta sauce. Noodles are down here. Some pokes in the way. I don't want to get them on camera. All right, that's an empty spot right there. All right, let's go to another aisle. So this is what I was looking for. I was looking for the canned goods. Okay. I don't see any blatant open spaces, but that is the section right there. Just that little bit. So that's one, two, that's three sections of canned goods. So, uh, and here are the beans. If memory serves me correctly, then it seems like, seems like it is normally more. Uh, they got to sell on chicken of the sea. So 10 for 10, it's not a bad little prep item. Okay, that's tuna. And these are the, 24 gram protein the size of the freaking can oh there it is five ounce cans okay i think they were a little bit um i think it was less at aldi's um what was that yes at lytle i think it was a little bit less at lytle okay all right here are your fruits and this is the literally the only fruit section they have all right Another section I always look at is the hot dog section because it just seems like we as Americans eat a lot of those. Okay, so there. Let's check the price of the bacon here. Same price as the other store. $14 for 48 ounces, which is crazy expensive. 
Okay, I noticed in the other stores that the waffle section always seem like they're slacking some kind of way. And same thing here in this little area right here. Just seems like. Alright, so this is stuff I normally get right here. I haven't tried a garden beefless burger. I may try it out. I won't get it right now, but I may try it a little later. Get a little lack on the stuff I dog on by. Oh my. Come on y'all. Get better. Don't mess up my food. <laughs> Alright, so we're walking out and on this assessment of this store. Uh, really wasn't that bad to be honest with you. Okay, out of a out of a five star rating. Out of a five star rating, I would give it uh, just because I know the quality of everything that's in that store, I give them a three and a half. Uh, and as far as items available that you could go in and get as far as prep items, uh, they're pretty stocked to be honest with you. Kind of um, kind of surprising because the other stores I've gone into of this chain have been, um, been kind of low. But anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you um, you watch the next video, okay? All right, take care. Okay, so I came over here to check out a store. And I don't know if they're closed permanently or this is just for today. But I am at Farm Fresh. And I was going to try to walk around in here and see what was going on. But they just have two clothes signs up, and that's it. So, I don't know if the food shortage has finally gotten to them <laughs> or not. Or it's just, I mean, because this was a jumping store. I also came over here and noticed that this store used to be uh, what is called a big lots around here, and that store is closed. So, um, anyway, uh,. I like to say I'm surprised. I am kind of surprised about that store. Cause that store is the jumping store. That store is always, always got, well, always had people in it. So I'm a little surprised. And it's directly across from uh, LLWES that I shop at all the time. And I looked over here in the parking lot though, then I was like, man, it's, it's, it's the, the parking lot's kind of light. So, um, hey. The saga continues with this food shortage. Are they a victim of the food shortage? Or are they a victim of bad management? We may never know. Let's catch you guys on the next one.